do another video. Ah, uh, man. I wanted to do a video based off of does the release date actually matter? And um, I actually planned on doing this video a while back. And as the year always starts out, you always end up getting all these delays. You get the, like, towards the end of the year, you get, like, the initial end date or you get the release dates for the next year. So I've seen all the release dates for all the games that was going to come out the next year. So I already kind of had these expectations of what was going to be and stuff like that. So today, of course, turn on the news. I uh, went to GameInformer.com and read that Mighty Mighty Number no. Nine has been delayed again. I think they said this is the fourth time it's been delayed, which brings up an interesting question: How do you guys feel about the release date? And how much emphasis do you actually put on that? Because for me, I put a lot of emphasis on it, especially if I pre-order a game. My expectations are already set. I know that a lot of people are going to go through the common saying of, um, well, it's better for a game to be delayed because then you get a better product and all that other stuff. But my thing is, that's not good enough for me, you know. I've seen games get multiple delays and then the outcome actually ends up being worse. And I know that they've been having some technical difficulties with the engine and stuff like that. And so my thing is just to get back to the original case or original question, um, does the release date matter? And for me, the release date does matter for the fact that if I pre-order a game or I've had expectations or I've, I've called myself being invested in a game, then yeah, I will go through I'll go through that period in time of putting my all into wanting this video game and then it's like a big letdown to me when a game gets delayed because games back in the day didn't get um delayed. Not not major delays like we're getting now. There may have been some, but because of um the least amount of information that we had access to like we didn't have all these media sources that we have now and now we have more information easily accessible we we know about trailers we know about demos we know about betas we know about um little leaked footages of what what expectations are to come we have more information access to conferences now or game conventions and stuff like that like e3 tgs um packs all kinds of stuff that gives you an idea of what to expect and so all that stuff i feel like it plays a role so tell me what you think make sure you like comment subscribe um to the channel tell others about my video but yeah i just felt like it was something i wanted to chime in on because honestly i almost went and got the game um because of the release date being so close and that's kind of a letdown too it's not like they waited a month before the release date. They waited like a few weeks. Like I think it's actually only going to be like a week because I think it's the first week in February that it's supposed to be releasing. They've already given a price for it and everything. Like I seen it for the PS4 for like thirty dollars, and you know, I was thinking about going and get the physical copy. And for those people who are, I'm hearing some bad stories here and there and it could be just rumors but some people having some issues with the kickstarter some people having issues with the the pre-orders and it's it's been some it's been some nightmare situations so for me the normal situation when a release date is delayed is not so bad they usually end up being able to work through that the game comes out later and it works out fine but this one is kind of seeming like a bad whirlwind of destruction. Something is not looking right. But anyway, tell me what you think. Other than that, I'm Life Spiller, and I'm out.